everybody. I just added the 10W30 oil to uh, break it in. I'm going to run it for 10 to 12 hours and then change the oil again. But man, they are adamant. You must add oil. Add oil. Add oil. And it takes 7.5 ounces. So I filled it up to just a little over seven, put it in, and then I leaned it forward this way, just tilted it this way a little bit, and you could see that the oil was right exactly where it was supposed to be. So now I'm going to uh, put some gasoline in it, and I always use just like 87, but I always put Lucas ethanol treatment in my fuel on any of my small engines, uh, lawn mowers, leaf blowers, chainsaws, uh, generators, and especially my scooter. So let's uh, move on to the next. All righty, before we put gas in it and get going, let me just give you a quick overview. This is the exhaust. Here's the choke got an on and off valve for the fuel of course this is the uh, full start and then here let's see you've got the on and off switch this is your economy mode which lowers the rpms it basically does away with the rpms that it's not using to generate the needed power so um, it'll slow it down and that saves gasoline. Here is the one AC plug, 110 volts. This is a 12 volt. It just puts out four amps. It's uh, basically not regulated like a battery charger. So it will just keep charging as long as it's on there. This is the circuit breaker. And here you have uh, the output light, the overload, and the oil alert. Oil alert is great. Generators will run along and not use a drop, and then all of a sudden they'll just drink it. So that's a good thing. I was taught by Mr. Clem, every time before you start a generator, even if you ran it the day before, always, always check the oil first. All righty. Now let's go put some fuel in it, see how she does. Another thing that I need to mention is it has a vented cap. That's in the closed position, and that's the open position. So when you're traveling, you want to keep it closed. It keeps all the uh, fumes out of your vehicle. And then when you go to run it, you just click it over, and it opens right up. And I did check it. It is working. Like I said, I just use 87 octane, but I always use the Lucas... Um, ethanol treatment I'm not going to fill it up all the way just basically going to put enough in there just to test it We have to turn the gas valve on. And one other thing I did not talk to you about was the primer bulb. And you just push it until you see gasoline in there. Put this over the choke over to uh, the run, uh, start position. And then I'm going to just kind of give it a slow prime. One. Two. All right, let's see how many it takes to start it. One. Two.
And you gotta be smarter than the equipment you're using. Good God. How about we turn it on? What a dummy. Good Lord. Man, that's nice and quiet. All right, I'm old, okay? I got a learning curve. Anyway. Let's see if it'll power up something. I'm gonna let it run for, I don't know, five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and then we'll put, uh, turn on the power and see if it works. All righty, it's been running for about 10 minutes. The green light is on, which means the output is producing. That means it's producing uh, 110 volts. So let's plug it in. This is a 150 watt fan. Pretty good size. When you turn it on, it goes right to full power. So let's uh, see how it does, ready? Smooth as silk. All right, let's see what the economy mode does. Wow, quite a bit of difference. Basically, in the simplest way I can explain it, the economy mode just slows it down to the number of RPMs that it needs to run whatever it's, it's running at the time. So if you just leave it on the high, it's running fast and you're just wasting fuel and power. So with the economy mode, it slows it down to the required RPMs, which is fantastic. And listen how quiet it is. You know, that's the nice thing about these little generators inverter style generators. They are nice and quiet. All right. I'm going to give this bad boy two thumbs up. It's going to be a great item for the van. Yeah. All right. Only time will tell, but I'll get back to you. Later.